Hello, uh, welcome to my channel, HS Studio. So today, in this video, we are going to learn regarding exception handling, how to catch multiple uh, exceptions. So multiple catches will be initialized. So we will see which catch will be uh, caught. So let's see. Uh, in this uh, program, I'm going to teach you uh, regarding uh, two exceptions. Uh, in the previous video, I have seen uh, we have seen that uh, how to create uh, arithmetic exception and how to handle it. Okay, and uh, uh, if an arithmetic exception comes, how to handle it? But in this, we are going to do two exceptions. That is, one is arithmetic exception, and one more is array index out of mount. Okay, so let me create an array. Okay, so a new size I'll give as a five. I uh, declare an array so you can see that uh, uh, the array name is uh, a okay, and uh, the size of the array is uh, five. So you know that the index starts from zero to so I'll take it so index starts from zero to four, zero to four. So this is index 0 to 4 because the size of the array is 5. So what will I do is now uh, I will uh, uh, initialize an variable, uh, I mean array, this array, okay, a of 5 equal to uh, some value. So in the fifth position, I'm uh, trying to insert some elements, some 64. Okay. So then uh, I'm going to run this program. We will see how exactly this works. Okay. So what I'm doing is in fifth position, okay, index position, I'm trying to insert 64 element, element 64. So actually, you are at a index. Okay. So the size is five. Size. Uh, so you are trying to push an element which doesn't exist. So is wrong because it, uh, it, it will stop uh, in four. But you are trying to initialize the value in fifth uh, position, fifth position. So that is why it is wrong. So let me uh, run this. Uh, just wait a minute. Let me save it and uh, run it. Okay. When I run this, uh, you can see, you can see exception in the thread main uh, Java lang array index of bound. Uh, the since uh, index five out of bound for length five. So it is showing that the index is uh, five. So it starts from 0 to 4. So you can't try to initialize that because it's array index out of bound. So that is why after exception is not printing. So exception happened in the in which line? 8 line. In the 8 line. So what should I do? Uh, you should use try and catch. You know that how to put try and catch. What I'll do is I'll select this line and I'll go for source surround with try catch. So now I have used try catch. So here instead of exception, I will use instead of this one array index out of bound array array index out of bound exception. So I'm going to catch array index out of bound exception. So this is array index out of bound exception. I'm going to run this. I'm going to run. So you can see uh, that index track page is printing, and afterwards uh, after exception. Is also printing. So this is array index out of mode. This is one catch. Okay, so different catches will be there. So what will I do is uh, in this uh, we will try multiple catches. We will try multiple catches. So what will I do is I will do two uh, two types of exception in my program. Here I am doing only one exception. Uh, that is array index of mode. One more exception. What will I do is 50 divided by zero. 50 divided by Zero. Actually, here there are two types of exception is happening in fifth, ninth line. Okay, one is here array index out of bound exception is happening because array is out of bound, and 50 divided by, by zero is one more exception that is arithmetic exception. So, uh, how to create one more exception? I mean, to catch that exception, I have to create one more catch. So, let me try to catch one more. Okay, catch. Uh, that is uh, arithmetic okay, arithmetic exception e so i'll try to open this 
e dot brackets uh, okay so this is two catches so single ca try you can have multiple catches no problem uh single try must have at least uh, one catch okay one catch must be there okay so you can have multiple catches what will i do is i will uh, put one more catch okay i'll put one more catch just for uh, showing the thing so i'll put uh, one more exception that is exception only okay so exception e then i'll open the brace and uh, e dot uh, print extract trace so i'm going to print all these things so here there are uh, 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 three catches are there first catch second catch and third catch here in this it is array index out of bound next one is arithmetic exception and exception so totally three catches are there here in this ninth line okay in a ninth line there there are two exceptions there are how many exception two exceptions so uh, which are those which are those one is uh, one is 50 divided by 0 is an exception 50 divided by 0 it is array arithmetic exception a of 5 okay i am entering the element to a of 5 so that is also uh, that is array index out of bound exception two exception let me run this program let's see which one will be caught which one will be caught two exception okay which one will be caught we will see the output okay we will see the output now i am going to run this program going to run okay so yes uh, you can see that actually which catch is caught is uh, you can see uh, arithmetic exception divided by zero this one this exception divided by zero at uh, com that is ninth line you can see in the ninth line so it is showing you can if you click on here it will show ninth line why because you can see first when it comes to seventh line then eighth line try okay a of phi is there a of phi is just initialized but always computation will happen first that is 50 divided by zero when 50 divided by zero is encountered when 50 divided by zero then you know that he, here it is equal to uh, assignment operator whatever the value is here that is calculated and put into a of phi before that you should calculate this 50 divided by zero i hope you are understanding so when 50 divided zero is encountered so you you the compile i mean uh, the compiler got to know that exception occurred so which uh, catch will be it will go to which catch so whether it is this catch no of course this is not the one because this is array index out of bound so for this one the matching catch is this one it will directly go when it encounters this line ninth line it will directly go for 14th line 14th line that is arithmetic exception and it will print it will print so that is the way it will work okay uh, uh, we will see for any uh, uh, one change i'll do one change instead of 50 divided by 0 i will make it as 50 here actually there is only one exception that is a of 5 is the exception when i run this when i run this i'll, I'll run this program i have divided so there is no arithmetic exception you can see here it is um, array index out of bound exception so this here array index uh, uh, out of bound exception happened it will go for 10th line so array index out of bound so it will print the track trace that will be printing this is the way uh, the multiple catches will be handled if there are two catches are the two exceptions are there that will go to appropriate catch block it will go to appropriate catch block so since this one if it is uh, uh, either uh, i mean none of this that is uh, it's not uh, array or not uh, arithmetic then this catch will be caught that is exception what will i do is here uh, you can see there are different different catches are there array arithmetic exception okay this catch i'll put it uh, uh, over here okay after this okay i will put it over here okay i'll put it over here you can see here uh, array uh, you are getting uh, error unreachable catch block error it was handled in catch block exception see catch exception is exception block so here already it is caught then again why are you uh, initializing this this is wrong actually okay so whenever you are having uh, different different exceptions okay exception is parent parent class of array index and arithmetic so it should be at the end 
always the parent exception should be at the end it's like uh, if there are uh, three baskets are there the bigger basket should be at the end the smaller basket should be at the top so that is the way it works okay so always whichever the uh, parent exception or super class exception okay super class exception that should be at the end always at the end okay since uh, uh, exception is super class so there is no error now when you put uh, it at the end that is the way the exception works i hope you understood this video okay and uh, don't forget to subscribe okay thank you